Hello, yoga teachers, fitness instructors, Zumba teachers. This video is for you. This is all about my setup that I used before I was able to level up and get a camera. I want to show you just a basic setup that you can use right now to start teaching. Um, one of the things that you can use, of course, right now, if you have it, a cell phone, right? We all have a cell phone with a pretty decent camera. We can use that. And I have used that in order to teach my classes. I taught even on my iPad as well. Um, what's some of the downsides to that, right? Uh, some of the downsides is it might not be wide enough for you or the picture quality may not be that great. Uh, those are the only downsides. Other than that, they're all pluses. The pluses is it's very easy. You can take and put it anywhere. As long as you have it charged, you probably don't need to power it, plug it in to power it, which I still would recommend that you do, uh, but you really don't have to. You can be anywhere and still being able to film, uh, which makes it very easy. And this is for, this setup is for streaming or if you just want to record. If you look back on some of my personal yoga te uh, classes uh, in my YouTube, I was using my phone or maybe even my iPad to record. Uh, so that is what happens, right? We all have to get to some point of leveling within our, our practice and with our teaching. So if you have a camera, a phone, feel free to use it as I turn on the flashlight. Uh, that is one that you can use. One of the things to take this phone, this basic phone, to a better way is to add this little lens adapter, this little phone lens adapter. It's a little clip that clips on there, and you can add it to your phone to clip it on there. And then it also has a little screw attachment so that you can set it in place. So that's a really, really good option in order to get a really good um, setup using your your phone. This can also be used for a laptop as well. So with the lenses that's on here, this one is a 15X HD macro, and then sitting on top of it is a 5K 16 millimeter um, wide uh, pro is the lens. So you want a wide angle lens. I was able to pick this up on Amazon for maybe about 25 bucks. Um, they'll run you somewhere between 20 and $30 for any type of lens for your um, phone. If you want a really, really good one, maybe they might be about 40 bucks. Really depending on how much you want to spend for them, let me give it a little rub. I feel like I have some fingerprints on there now. Um, but let me show you how this works when you're using it um, inside of a laptop. Because a lot of times we're just using our laptop, especially if you want to go live within YouTube, you have to use a laptop if you don't have the number of subscribers. So let me click over and use my laptop webcam and show you the difference, right? I'm on a Sony 6100. Uh, camera that I'm using to film this video and I'm having really good camera quality and I like I said have leveled up to this particular setup but the setup that has just the basic webcam it's maybe not the greatest right um, I could probably be back adjust the lighting but my laptop is almost the same distance as my camera maybe a few inches away and it makes a huge difference right so with this one, this is the basic camera. It's, it's a 720 camera um, on my MacBook Pro. And let's bring in the lens. Let's bring that in. Oh, yeah. That looks much better. Let me angle that better. And boom. See the difference? See how you're able to see me? I could still adjust this just a little just to get those edges that were a little bit blurry away but now you can see more of the room right you can see way more of the room you can play with this just to make sure that the edges are crisp but you're able to see a lot more of the room so for example if I'm back here on my yoga mat you'll probably be able to see my entire body from it being on my desk if I take this lens off and we do the same thing, 
Will you be able to see my entire body? Somewhat, but it's not going to be that great quality. Now, when I set that camera up where it's square right on, um, you may not be able to see everything, right? I'm going to stand in the same place. I'm going to put the lens back and we're going to see the difference. Bringing that lens back in, right? Here we go. This is what you want. This is the type of quality that you want to have on your videos, on your film. I'm going to sit back down on my ball and just kind of tell you why this is important. It's really important to be able to have that wide angle where people can see you. It's very, very important. I'm going to switch um, back to my other camera here, just switching cameras, um, because I want to talk about sound. I am um, using my Yeti microphone in order to film this video. And I also talk about that in my setup. But maybe you don't have one of those Blue Yeti microphones. I'll bring it into the shot a little bit so you can see it. That one's the one there. And maybe you don't have that setup, right? Maybe you use a setup that is like this. This is my setup that I use for my in-person classes. I, I teach using this microphone and then I also have another microphone for my big speaker. But this is one that I've had and I use it for my, my yoga setup. I use a little speaker and I put that into this particular little speaker box and I plug it in. I also have another little speaker as well um, and I use that one. So let me show you the other um, headset that I have. Maybe you have a microphone that looks like this. Maybe you have the one that has the little um, clip onto your hip. It goes into the jack here. You can use a headset, maybe a lapel mic, and then you have the receiver that goes into any type of jack. So this is an adapter on here that is one of the, the bigger uh, aux adapters. And then this one's a little insert to the smaller one so that you can put it in a regular um, 3.5 uh, millimeter adapter. And that goes in this way. So they both plug in the same way, the same little speaker that I have. Um, both of them can be used. I typically use this with my really big speaker if I'm teaching outdoors. Um, but typically for this one, I use this one if I'm in a close room, inside of a room or a studio, and I use this setup here. It's, it's really good. You can put this somewhere near your laptop and then have that speaker on, and then you can go to the mat and be able to teach. And it's easy for you to teach that way, right? Because you know if the speaker goes out, you'll know because the sound is coming from the outside and you'll be able to hear it. Um, it the sound may have a slight echo, but it's going to be better than no microphone at all. If I was to turn off this microphone and use my regular MacBook, Phone. Well, this is what it sounds like. It doesn't sound the best, right? You want to have something that's going to give you quality. And an external microphone is going to give you the best quality, something that's already plugged in. Um, if you don't have that option, you can use this. I'm going to just turn this one on just to kind of give you an idea. And I'm going to go to the regular book uh, one here turning this on and then I'm going to test and this is how I use it so even if I'm far away I can still use this microphone because it's a headset right so I can still move around and you can be able to hear me because I have the speaker there so that's another option for you if you don't want to get some type of studio equipment or you don't want to get something that actually plugs in you'll still be able to hear because of the wireless mic. And you don't have to worry. You move around, you're doing your yoga, Zumba, fitness, and you're good to go. You're using this microphone. So that's an, an option for you to use. This is your setup um, if you don't have any other option. I typically like to use my Yeti. I, I, 
I don't use this one now because I purchased my Yeti uh, microphone, but this is an option for you to use. Uh, I hope that this has been in informative for you, and I just wanted to give you this quick video just to kind of explain. It's not really a lot of tech videos out there for yoga, fitness instructors, so I wanted to give you this video that would be very helpful to get you going fast. Um, if you want to know about my other setup, my lights and all kinds of things, I do have other videos about that. This is just a basic video to tell you the difference, one, between the pro and the, you know, like kind of level one, level two. Um, if you have ever seen any of live streaming pros videos, you know what I mean. Um, I definitely am a member of their uh, videos as well. And it's really helpful to be able to get that information and I go into detail into all of the lights. Uh, feel free, if you found value into this video, please like it. Uh, and if you want to get future videos, as well as my other videos that have all about my uh, regular setup, feel free to subscribe. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.